Each entrepreneur has their own signature clothing line that represents various aspects of the Grenadian culture. This year, different lines have been launched just in time for the Grenada's 43rd Independence Celebration. Andrew Williams, owner of Roots Nation Outfitters, says he has been in the business four years and counting. He says his t-shirt design for this year's celebration is meant to promote unity among Grenadians, especially those living in the diaspora. Divided by sea, sorry, united by heart, and that um, represents you know, people who are not on island, who live off island, for instance, in the States, China, wherever we may be. We've been doing this now for a while. We've started in 2009. Uh, we have been doing independent t-shirts now for about four years. Williams said the local apparel market is becoming quite competitive. Because anyone who starts a brand is all about the design. So you have to make your design stand out more against everyone else who's starting to do it. Because when I started doing t-shirts, no one was doing it. Owner of the brand, Connor Ambition, Vidal Pascal, has been printing t-shirts for over three years. This year, however, is his first time designing a t-shirt for Grenada's independence. We're like an actual clothing line because like many people know the logo, the Con Ambition logo, because we have a, a, a pretty nice following with the young people. So we decide, hey, why not make something trendy, something that the people would like. Even if, it, even if it's an independence t-shirt, it's still trendy. Pascal says he places heavy emphasis on social media marketing. It's really and truly a business that started on social media. Like we, like we had a Facebook page before we actually had a, a website. So we were on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, all these places before like the shirts were actually like in an actual store. These young entrepreneurs say they will continue to blaze the trail in fashion design with the hope of inspiring young people to become more patriotic. Akisha Felix for GBN News.